give God some praise. If you believe it's done. Hallelujah. It's already done. Hallelujah. It's hard to say that when you're going through something now. It's really easy to believe it's already done after it's physically manifested. But that's not faith. The Bible says we walk by faith, not by sight. True faith is declaring the Word of God even though the facts around you are not in agreement with the Word. You'll never change your world agreeing with the facts. You'll change your world agreeing with the Word. If something's dead, it remains dead as long as you keep speaking death. Jesus comes to his friend Lazarus that was in the tomb for days. And there was a message sent to him, it's too late. He's already dead. And the disciples were confused because Jesus was speaking something different. He was saying, he's only sleeping. Because if something comes back to life, it technically was just sleeping. And right now, some of you right now, you feel like you got your death certificate, but God says it's not over, it's just sleeping. Because I specialize I don't think you know my name, Jesus is saying. I don't think you know my name. I am the resurrection and the life. I bring, come on, I bring dead situations, dead marriages, come on, hopeless situations, and I bring them back to life. I get glory when I come across a tomb. Everybody's, everybody's right now working on a funeral. They wrapped them up. They put them in a tomb. Then they seal it up. The professional mourners would come in those days. They had people that were fake criers. Because everyone wants, when you die, you want people to cry and miss you. So what they would do is bring professional criers. We miss Lazarus. He's dead. But you know what Jesus does? He eliminates everything and he speaks something that was contrary to the situation and right now by faith you got to start speaking the Word of God stop speaking your depression stop speaking the past stop speaking your problem stop speaking your failure you got to start speaking the Word of God Lazarus come forth get out of that tomb I don't care how 2021 has been you're not going to come out of 2021 in the tomb. God right now, he's saying, come out of the grave right now. Come out of the tomb right now. Let's unloose you with the things that have been binding you. It's time for you to step into your greatest part of your life, your ministry, your testimony. Give God just one more praise. One more praise. Come on, it's already done. Let's sing that one more time, just already done. I want, I want to just, I want you to attach something. Your joy, come on, it's already here. Your peace is already here. Your breakthrough is already here. Come on, your forgiveness is already here. Your new beginning is already here. Your success is already here.
How many believe it's, come on, it's done. I, I want to say something. We're in spiritual warfare for your victory. And when I talk about spiritual warfare, this is what I'm literally talking about. Your negative thoughts. That's what I'm talking about. And I could hear someone saying this, but you don't understand my circumstance. And you don't know my wife. And you don't know my husband. And you don't know what the doctors told me. And you don't know the situation I've been in. And you don't know, you don't know my financial pressure. You don't know what I'm going through. That's a nice song, but I, you don't know what I'm going through. And you know what's crazy about that? You're telling God he doesn't know. And you know what God is saying? You say, I don't, you don't know, you don't know. He goes, no, you don't know. You must not know me. Come on, you must not know me. I don't need a lot of your help. I just need someone right now to be willing to at least agree and say, God, you understand everything. You create everything, something out of nothing. Lord, do it in my life. All I'm saying is this. You got to resist that negative. Some of us are really good at receiving from the devil, but you're really bad from receiving, receiving things from God. I don't see it. 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 No lo puedo ver. You're bilingual. Bilingual negativity. You got to break it. I don't care if you feel it. I don't care what I see. This thing's going to turn out for my good because all things work together for good for those who love God and are called according to purpose. This is going to work out fine. Come on. One more break. I rebuke the spirit of doubt, the spirit of fear. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Unbelief, go. Okay. We got to rebuke at that. Some of you guys scream louder at your kids than you do at the devil. Shut up. Why don't you tell the devil to shut up in your head? Mom, who are you screaming at? I'm screaming at the devil. I'm sick and tired of him speaking to me. Get shut up. Get out. All right. Tonight's going to be awesome. This is what I'm saying. We're going to end this year strong. This Friday, New York time. We're going to be here at 7 o'clock. So it's like New York time's 10 o'clock. So when it's 9 o'clock... It's midnight. We're crazy. We're going to stay up till midnight, New York time. We're crazy. But I, we, it's going to be amazing service. Who's coming out? Chris Webb. Emmy. Is it Emmy? Emmy winning spoken artist, spoken word artist. He's going to be here. One of the best spoken word artists of the year. He's going to be here. This I'm saying, how you end something, I mean, we want to end this strong. Don't let the devil, just one more toke. Don't be dumb. Because that's how the devil works. Just one more. Just one more night partying. It might be your last night. Start off in the house of God, resist the devil and say, devil, I started out the year giving you, dr I've been drunk, I've been in bed with people I shouldn't be in bed with, I've been crazy, violent, come out with black eyes, over, overdose, hung, hung over, this year I'm going to start in the house of God, I'm going to be begin the war early, I'm going to worship, I'm going to bring somebody, it's going to be powerful. So Friday, someone say Friday, 7 o'clock, we're going to be here, it's going to be powerful. And it's Sunday morning, Sunday morning, the first Sunday of the year. You know what's so great about that? You can finally have perfect attendance. Give God your first and your best. The devil knows there's a principle of first fruits. What happens to the first happens to the whole. So he goes, if you give me your first, 
it will bless everything else. Give me your first and your best. Sunday morning, be here. And we're going to start getting some vision for 2022. I'm going, to, I'm going to show you how to get some vision for 2022. We're going to be, we're going to get some vision. We're going to write down vision. This year is not going to be accident. This year is going to be intentional. This year is going to be great. We're going to prepare for it. We're going to plan for it. We're going to get vision for it. And then, and then we're going to go in next Wednesday. Someone say next Wednesday. Right here. We're going to start a 21 day fast. We're going really crazy. 21 days of seeking after the Lord more than we seek after food. Come on. If you just sought after the Lord the way you seek after those donuts, man, you'd be awesome. But we're going to seek after the Lord. 21 days. Then we're going to end it with impartation. Three service, four, no, four or five services you, wanna, you don't want to miss. Uh, uh, but the end of all that, on our Sunday night, our worship team is releasing their album. We're going to have a worship service. It's, uh, it's, it's going to be cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Don't be good. You like Cocoa Puffs too? Come on, come on, somebody. He like Cocoa Puffs. He got excited about that. <laughs> but we're, we're going we're gonna to get rid of those Cocoa Puffs 21 days, though. That's the only problem right there. <laughs> All right. All right. How, many, how many are glad you're here tonight? Come on. Come on, let's, let's fight. Come on, let's praise. Come on, let's give God something. And tonight, tonight we got Prophet Rob Sanchez. Now, now he, has, he has the gift of prophecy, the gifts of word of knowledge. I was talking to praise and worship team in the back. I go, look, even if you don't believe that this can actually happen, by the time you're done, you're going to believe. Get ready. Come on. If God has something to say to you, why not receive from God tonight? One more praise to God. And let's say, if you can maybe... You, Say hi. If you're here for the first time, we, I want to say, if you're here for the first time, we love you. And we are so glad you're here. And, and we just want you to enjoy yourself today. Receive from God today. Today could be a breakthrough for your life. Let's go ahead and have a seat somewhere. If you can find